Oh, this is too cringe. This is too cringy for my liking. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is the first part of my Disney Cultural Exchange program of 2017. I said in my last vlog when I did the CP tag that I was going to do one for my bucket list and here it is. As you can tell by the title, this is my bucket list for the summer of 2017. I have 25 things on this list. I originally was going to do like 10 and then just like more and more things kept popping up in my brain and um, so I decided to make it 25. So it's all here in this little book of mine. Um, so I will start, they're in no order at all, they're just whatever came to my head at the time. Um, so it's just in random order. Um, so yeah this is my bucket list and start with number one. Do the kiss goodnight at Magic Kingdom. I've never done that before um, and this is including, it says here, include a photo um, of empty Main Street. And number two is drink around the world. Last year I was only 20, I wanted to do it around the world, that failed. So this time I'm going, I'm adamant that I'm going to do drink around the world because I am 21. I am of age in America, so that's exciting. Um, number three um, is Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I've never done any of the any of the parties at Disney World, and this one, like, it starts I think on like the twenty seventh of August, and I don't leave until the thirty first. So I'm gonna try my hardest to go. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to get it off work, but if I can, bonus. Number four, um, eat at a harness at night. I have heard that Ohana's at night is amazing, so I need to make sure I do that. I did have eat Ohana's for breakfast, um, but I'm already doing that. Like I'm definitely doing that. That's going to be on my third, my second morning um, in Disney World. So um, yeah, there's no point putting it on my list because I definitely know I'm doing it on my second day, um, and then watch the fireworks from the Polynesian beach. So them two kind of like go together. So eat at Ohana's and then watch the fireworks from the Polynesian beach. I've never done that and it just sounds really nice to do. I keep itching myself. <laughs> um, it sounds really nice to be able to watch them from the beach. So I'll give that one a whirl, see what it's like. Cause you can actually like hear the music as well from the Polynesian beach to go with the fireworks. So it's not like you're missing out on the experience or you're missing out is being able to see the castle. So that's fine. Um, then number six is spend a day resort hopping. Now I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to spend a day resort hopping but I definitely want to go to all the different resorts and see what they're like because I do it is apart from the big three the Polynesian, Grand Floridian and Contemporary like they're all in a monorail of each other like it's actually quite hard to get from there to like another resort so I want to at least see all the resorts especially the ones that I've never seen before I'd like to have a little tour around there, a little nosy. Um, number seven is fully, fully complete four parks one day. Now, we technically did it last year, but technically didn't. Um, we Our aim was to have a photo, um, a photo in front of the icon, um, and me to character and me to ride. Now, was in a, we did that in Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot. Then got to Hollywood Studios, had the photo, we queued up for Hollywood Tower of Terror and then we decided we were too tired because it was a really long queue anyway. So it's like we're too tired to queue on this ride for, for the ride because we've been on it loads before. Like it's not like I've never been on Tower of Terror before. Um, and then we just left so we technically we never saw the, did a ride and we never saw a character. So therefore I class that as a fail. Um, but people, it's really tiring, so just we just need to remember next time. It's a tiring day, so make sure you get to the last park in plenty of time, so you can see a character and do a ride. And then number eight, oh my god, I really, 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 really want to do this. The kitchen sink. I need to tackle the kitchen sink. I love ice cream. I love everything chocolatey and sweetie. And I need to try the kitchen sink. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to insert a picture right now. It is basically a sink full of ice cream. I think it's got like ice cream, brownies, some fudge, 
sprinkles, cream. You're supposed to go with like four people, so four people easily can demolish that. You need to conquer the kitchen sink. Right, number nine. Now this one I do have it booked, but it has to go on the list because it's been on my bucket list in it since last year. Because we tried, we tried to get this booked and we couldn't. And that is Be Our Guest. I want to dine with the beast. So bad. And I'm going on the day after my friend Sophie arrives. Yeah, she arrives. Yeah, she arrives. And then it's the day after. We're going to go to Be, um, be Our Guest. She's going to use my guest pass and going to have a romantic meal at Be Our Guest and I'm so excited. I'm going to wear, no not that one, I'm going to wear these little bad boys ready to conquer the Be Our Guest. Um, right number 10, I'm only at number 10 for my neck. I like to talk. I actually thought this would be a lot harder than it is but I talk a lot and I drop my book. Number 10, Primetime Diner. That just looks really good. I've seen loads of vlogs on this and I love that sort of atmosphere. Like it's not just a casual sit down meal. You actually get the entertainment with it not it being a show. So that sounds cool. Now 11. Spent a full day at the water parks. Now last year I spent about like just a few hours in each of the water parks. And because I love the water parks and it's somewhat different than just going on normal rides again. You just go on water slides. I never actually did some at Plummet. So... I want to do something from it. Um, number 12, only cast members can do this but I want to go on a behind the scenes tour so you can do like, no I think only cast members can do most of them, I don't know. But anyway, I want to like go and do like Space Martin with the lights on, stuff like that, like stuff you can't do as a guest. Yeah there was something I saw yeah, last year and I, it looked really cool, I just could never be bothered but I will this year. Um, you could do yoga in front of the castle at five o'clock in the morning like yeah it's five o'clock in the morning but imagine those views and yoga's relaxing so i've never done yoga but i'm sure it's relaxing so i'm going to try that i want to do that if i see that again i'm definitely doing it number 13 is see magic kingdom open like i've never seen the opening show i've never been there for like rope drop or whatever I would like to do that with all the other parks as well, but the main one is I want to see that at Magic Kingdom. And um, number seven, number fourteen. I can't believe you, I can't believe I've never done this. It's Ride the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. It looks amazing, and I, every time like I'm watching a vlog or something, and they're like, "Oh, we're going to the Seven Dwarves Mine Train," I'm like skipping ahead. I do not want any spoilers because I've, I've waited ages to go on this, and I need to go on it. Number fifteen. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but it's be it a character palooza. Like you don't know when it's going to happen. If they're happening in Hollywood studios, no idea where they happen in Hollywood studios, but they happen at some point in the day. I don't even think it's every day, but basically a character palooza is where all the characters, well not all of them, a lot of the characters, and especially those that you don't see a lot, so like Pinocchio and Geppetto, um, a lot of the time they come out, um. Amico as well from Pocahontas, he comes out. Um, so loads of different characters will come out for a short period of time and then go back in. But like, you don't know until you're there that that's going to happen. So be a character palooza. Number 16 is play the Agent P game in Epcot. Yeah, in Epcot. Or the, the one at Animal Kingdom, which I think is like the Wilderness Explorer or something. Just something different to do when you're going to visit the parks. Number 17, right, this one's for in Epcot. We have a have a photo taken wearing a different representative hat of each country in the World Showcase. I, I hope, I don't actually know if I can do this, like I don't know if there is a hat in each country, but for like, for example, in Morocco, you've got the little fez. So have a photo of that in each country. Um, and I'm, I'm sure you can, there's a beret in France and I don't know if it'd be for the UK. No idea. What is our UK representative hat? The ball hat? The top hat? I don't know. But yeah, that. Number 18 is watch an outdoor movie at a Disney resort. Now I do think I'm going to be doing this on my first night. I am not sure, so it's still on the list. Um, I know a few of us have been talking about going over to Art of Animation. Um, I think near the Finding Nemo pool you can watch a film at night, I think. 
I'm not 100% sure, but I'm in Pop Century um, for my first two nights of the programme. Um, and there's a bridge that just goes over the lake and you might have some animation. So, and I think a lot of people are staying at half animation. So we're probably just going to hop over there, meet, meet new people and watch, watch a movie under the stars. I'm sure, I think that's what it's called actually. But I want to do that. Now this one, number 19. Eat s'mores with Chippendale at Fort Baldwin. It's like they do like this bonfire. I'm not 100% of the details. It just sounds really cool. Um, and you have s'mores. So I want to do that. Number 20 is take a photo at every photographic wall. So I did the purple wall. Fabulous. But there's actually a list of all those of different walls that you can take a photo of. Like there's the um, intervention wall at Epcot. There's some in Animal Kingdom. But there is another one that isn't actually on the list, but my friends did it the other day and it looked really pretty, <laughs> the photos, and that's the Pop Century Ball. It's got flowers in it and it's really photographic, photogenic. Well, they're just photogenic anyway, but photographic, yeah. You can take good photos in anyway, so there's that. Um, then number 21, it's visit Trader Sam's at Polynesian and have a cocktail. And you can get really cool glasses. And they looked amazing. And apparently they tasted good too. So um, and now I'm 21. I can do that. 22 is finish an entire turkey leg. Or at least try a turkey leg. Like, have, it, people haven't really been going crazy about it that much recently. But it's just one of those snack foods that I've always wanted to try. And I love turkey. And I love chicken legs. So... I presume I'm gonna like a turkey leg. Who knows? Number 23, buy all the merchandise, and especially all the merchandise that's associated with whichever ride or area that I'm located in and that I'm working in. So, say, for example, I don't know, I'm on Figment. Buy all the Figment merchandise, all the Figment teddies, everything. If I'm in Fantasyland, buy all the Fantasyland merchandise, wherever I am. Number 24, right. take photos in my ears with each responding character. So these are just a few. I've got like, my Gaston ones, my Beauty and Beast, my Little Mermaid with her Dingle Hopper, Tinkerbell. I don't know if I can, you'll be able to find her, but maybe. And then my up ones. I think they're going to go crazy over these ones. They weren't crazy, like, I had an up backpack, and they weren't crazy over that as well, so I'm hoping they'll love my ears. I think right, number 25 is a big one. Make sure I vlog. Like, last year, I, I videoed stuff, and I had a lot of footage, but it was not worth vlog-worthy. Like, there was, a, there's the two days that I did, like, the four parks one day, although it wasn't four parks one day, but it that. But all the other days, like, I just either recorded me going, seeing the characters, which is good footage, but not just a vlog worthy. Yeah, just, like, stuff that I did, could put in a montage, like, I have put in my montage of last year. So, I do actually want to make a vlog. I have no idea how it's going to work, because I talk a lot, and I just feel like it's going to be so much footage I'm going to have. And, like, I'm not probably gonna edit it while I'm over there it would be more when I'm back so I need to make sure I remember to do that when I'm back is to actually make sure I edit it and upload it so yes yeah, stay tuned for um my actual vlogs of my summer yeah I'm gonna try my hardest to actually like video like my actual traveling day my moving day like I know what to expect now so I will be able to make sure I have the best footage for you guys so if you, this is the first time you've watched me, then subscribe, like it, and maybe the classic things that people do at the end of a vlog, subscribe, like, um, I feel like I need like my own little end of the vlog thing to do. Bye!